Mark, yeah. what is it about you? You're a nice guy. I know, you're, <laughs> the, what, you're the guy now. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Maybe they maybe they see something supernatural in me, and that's, that's why. Are you into like that stuff? I mean, it yeah, seems I, like I you're it. very drawn to it. Yeah, I love that stuff. Yeah. I've always been a fan. Always been a fan. Star, yeah. Star Trek fan from the time I was a little kid. All right, let's take a look at some stuff here that we uh, make our point. We're talking about with Mark here. Uh, let us begin with this picture of you, and this is from mm. Lost. 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 You the came big in as Kahuna. came in as Jacob, right? I mean, Kahuna. can you believe this show? Oh man, it was amazing! What a but, phenomenon! That and was. the ending. How did it resolve? <laughs> I think that's. I got lost. We don't have time. I, I, right, right. Yeah. I, I think it's just all up to you. Whatever you think yeah. it is is probably People the right answer. People still probably come up to you and want to yeah. talk about the ending. All right, what are we looking at for here? For the rest of your life. This is oh, the closer. That's the closer, yeah. Gavin Q. Baker. I love Gavin Q. Baker the third. Deck, uh, Lucifer. This oh, is how Lucifer. I like to think of you. From Supernatural. <laughs> right here. How do you like that skin condition? <laughs> Yikes. A little oil of Olay, Brad. You'd be better <laughs> off. Just a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I, I do want to get back to that. Are you being typecast to some extent this way? Um, you know, in a genre, you mean? Mm -hmm. uh, I, I don't think so. I think... Uh, you know, the great thing is now they write characters so complicated, and, right. and, and the complicated characters are, you know, also in the sci fi genre. So good guys have a lot of bad in them, bad guys have a lot of good in them. And, and, yeah. and, and your guy just going through, I think we've both seen, I've seen four episodes. Oh, so great. I, so I have a take it's on the show. It's easy to get hooked, yeah. yeah. Uh, your guy comes in at first, I think, I don't want to spend any time with him. That's sure. my first reaction to him. He's a little antisocial. Yes, antisocial and That's almost issues. deliberately antisocial. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then as time goes on, you realize this is a wounded bird. Flawed. He's a good man. Oh, that's he, great. He's a good man. He's that's a it. wounded bird. Yeah. That's true. I'm glad. I'm glad you feel that. That's well, he's every man. He's every man. Yeah. He's every man, you know. I think anybody can relate to being stuck in a certain stage of their lives, mm -hmm. you know. And, and uh, Jack, my character on the show, is is frozen in a particular part of grief you know he's in that denial yeah, he's phase and and he's so cut off and, and just alienated as he's in denial the daughter he lost comes back comes so back that's kind and, of and it's a little confusing weird. i took well, i don't want to give away too much of the plot yeah. here i was a little confused about, the, about yet, the daughters mm. very confusing oh really oh yeah yeah i mean i got it figured out so now but it took me a little you while you said okay. when you sat down that you're a little nervous because tonight is the big premiere yeah. you have yeah. no idea how people will interpret this yes so how where will you watch tonight how do you handle all that I, uh, you know I've been invited to a little screening of other for the other cast members and crew but I I, I may just be at home <laughs> yeah, like uh, hunkered hiding. down yeah. watching it you know live and and reading fetal position in just, the fetal yeah. position yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> praying that it goes over well but I, I I'm really confident that it will it's a it's a great show I want to pay uh, you and the people who did this oftentimes America tends to remake interesting offbeat uh, European TV shows, mm -hmm. right? British shows and other shows. Oh, this is, this it, is the French. French version. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and quite frankly, from my opinion, they blow it because they do something to it. They, they take the mystery out of it. Anything in a foreign language has a mystery to begin with. Mm -hmm. But this one, the aura, the mystery... I think the they, creepiness still I think they works. kept that those elements from the show that are so powerful and then we do our own thing with it as we go along and it becomes our own Could story. Could you watch the other series or does that hinder you? It usually does. I actually watched it this time. Um, and it, it actually did get in the way a little bit, you know, mm -hmm. because because theirs is different, because the characters are different, have different relationships. Yeah. You don't want to have that in your head, so I had to I had to get rid of it. And we're also told that as the series develops, it departs from the French series. Yeah. So for all the, those of you who watch the French well, series out congratulations. there, all five of you. No Thank need to you. be in fetal position. People yeah. are going to love it. They're going to love it. Nice to see you. Congratulations. Thank you very Thank much. you for Thank coming you. in. Thank you.